Yoga is um, one of our constructive activities as part of our rehabilitation program and um, yeah, it's doing, doing wonders I feel. I've been teaching in Hawke's Bay Regional Prison for six years approximately and I have always felt that yoga would be vital for anybody who's incarcerated because it's a means of um, bringing a, a, a transformation of behaviour patterns and of creating a, a change in somebody's life. Just their awareness of self, I think, is quite evident. Um, watching the awareness of the physical body um, and the openness to working with their energy um, through yoga, through the asanas, uh, through their breath work, um, and just the exploration of that. Um, and it's quite a privilege to, to be in amongst that within the project. Sometimes they're drawn by the physicality of it, so I try to invest what I do with a, with a lot of strengthening, um, maybe slightly challenging positions because they will recognise that physicality and it will draw them in. And, but they very rapidly uh, notice and feel that this is taking them, them to a deeper dimension. Um, it all started with stoops. I got introduced to this thing called mindfulness, and in the beginning I hated it. But it, it had the once I got used to it, it had this sort of the same um, concepts: the breathing, concentrate on the breathing, just trying to stay in the moment. Once I got used to mindfulness, I sort of went on to um, yoga and sort of kind of liked it. New, yeah. it's it's a new way to, for me to. Um, sometimes I used to be angry, and when you just Breathe and concentrate on the breathing. It takes all that negativity away and it centers you, I suppose, and makes you feel grounded again mm. and happier. We've got some um, unlikely prisoners that turn up to yoga, some of the ones that you wouldn't think would, would be interested, and, um, and uh, it's quite surprising to see them participating in such an, an activity as yoga. It's, it's there for everybody, and we don't see any negative from it in the compound at all.